<laughs> oh, cloudy and a little chilly today. What's up, guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We're down the track and we're doing something we have not done down here before. Scott brought a washing machine. This is actually the McKechnie special washing machine. This was the one we threw bricks in. Nothing too crazy happens. So today we're gonna we're gonna do a little magic trick. We're gonna turn it into a million little pieces. So ew, that's some nice colored water, eh? If this washing machine could talk. Ah, hard water. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna turn this thing into a million pieces. I'm not gonna show you how. We're just gonna show it happening. Magic. Yeah, magic trick. Magic and this is our little bunker wall. We're gonna put it right here. And uh, yeah. All right, kick her off. Yeah. Perfect. That's perfect. That's roll. We got our special homemade washing machine disintegrator juice here. Scott's trying to level it. It's good to have it level, otherwise it will spit out of control. Oh yeah, smart. Yeah. Might have to rest it up on something so it sits yeah. a little higher. Look at that. Hey, let's just fire this thing up, see if she goes. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. The, uh... We really picked a cold day to do this, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's how we roll though. Yeah, the ice is forming again. It was 13 degrees two days ago. Can you guys believe that? I got a freaking sunburn. I could probably get a sunburn today, but... Just aim for the middle. You see that red thing? That's the target. We should probably move my truck, eh? Yeah, we should in the front. Oh, yeah, 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 true. So it's supposed to come out frontwards? I don't know. There's gonna be nothing left of this thing. I'm super excited about it. I just hope it gets the ice off. We haven't done one of these videos in a few years. The last time I think we did a trailer or a beaver dam, so. And anybody that's an environmentalist, this is a high efficiency machine. So oh, so yeah, it's good we're then. We're gonna save some water. It's certified. Oh, we need high efficiency detergent as well. I'm pretty sure I put it in the bucket. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right, well, let's uh, get far, far away and uh, do her. Hey, she's trying to thaw out quick here. We got the old stand there. He doesn't need a stand though. He's got a he's got the old tractor tire. You're in the field, you're fine. Hey, should we smack the ramp a few times real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Just a gorgeous day. Are you guys getting out and getting after it? If not, do so. Make sure you check out the links below too. We got lots of discounts. We got some fresh merch, and we always got new videos coming at you. So, all right, let's do this. Check that bird out. Where is he? Oh yeah, get it. She's definitely thawing out quick though, but it is nice that it's frozen or else we'd be ankle deep in mud right now. I'm just going to set up the drone, set up the GoPro, set up my phone. I'll probably put my phone in slow-mo. Then I'm going to film a Scott's phone back there. So we'll have four, four solid angles. I'm excited. It's been a while. Let's make this thing go. Kaboom. GoPro going. I put the beacon behind there. Washing machine, drone, slow mo video. Let's go do this. <laughs> Ready when you are. God. So that last one, I just adjusted to the right because the crosswind, boom. That made a hell of a boom, holy. We might be getting a call for that one, but. It looks like all the windows are still in the house. I got gloves on, I can't even zoom in right now. There we go. <laughs> the drone is still in the sky. Last minute, the drone, uh, I think because it's so windy, it decided to stay in one spot right above it. And uh, I was like, oh, well, the drone might be gone after this, but the the um, the laundry machine is now gone. <laughs> I saw parts fly that way. I saw parts fly that way. But 
And the shockwave wasn't even that bad for us. No. Like it made a good thump, but uh, yeah. And the door did not fly at us. Whenever we've watched these washing machines and fridge doors, they always come flying at you. So we decided to stay way further back than most people do. So. Well, that was your first time. Yeah. How'd it feel? You feel like a man? Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a true Canadian now. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Yeah, the drone's still up there, so that's good. Should be getting a phone call from Dad shortly. What the heck was that? Oh my God, it's actually gone. The washer is gone. Like, there's stuff still falling from this guy. <laughs> well, my phone no. fell over. She's good though. She's good? Yeah. Hopefully I got the shot. Where did the rest of it go? It's, it's gone. Yeah, there's a piece over there in front of the bird. Oh yeah, that, that came towards us a little bit. The wind is coming this way though, so this is what's left of it. That's, That's what you get for not accepting the rock. <laughs> oh. Now the other thing is, the beacon was back here somewhere. Uh-oh, my GoPro might be done. Oh no. Oh no, she's beauty. She's good. Jeez, we're losing stuff everywhere. Yeah, I put the beacon on the ground somewhere around here, so she looks like she's a little buried. Might have to dig it up. Let's uh, land the drone and see if we can locate some stuff. What'd you do? Oh, you got eagle eyes, eh? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I thought it was a little more sheltered, but I guess not. Next time, just put her in a ziplock. Here you go. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess I'll try and land the drone. All right. Back of the truck. We're just doing a quick little warm up here. Unfortunately, my phone did get knocked over before the shot, but uh, we still got three other angles. So we're going to go have a look and check out uh, all the shrapnel everywhere. <laughs> There's literally mud on everything. <laughs> including my uh, GoPro here, wherever the heck it went. Oh yeah, here's the beacon. <laughs> she got a little covered. Apparently it was quite loud at the house too. We shook the whole house, so we might have to find a new spot to do some Tannerite videos. So if anyone's got a nice area in the middle of nowhere, let us know, because I still got lots more that we gotta get rid of. So, all right, let's go see the shrapnel. Now for the cleanup crew. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was quite loud and shook the lives. So we won't be doing that here anymore. Um, and we had some bad luck. I don't know what happened to the GoPro, but it glitched or something. Didn't get that shot. It the GoPro. So we only did get two shots, but we still managed to get two shots. That's all that matters. So <laughs> we got the drone and we got the phone. And I, I moved a little at the end. It was super zoomed in, but we still got it for you guys. Now let's... Uh, Check out the shrapnel here. This one seems to be the farthest or closest to us, probably 150 feet, give or take. This is the front of the washer. Just a giant razor blade. Yeah, you don't want to get hit with that part. No. <laughs> uh, I wonder where the door went. It's probably just turned into a million pieces. It's a nice thing about Tannerite. If you need to get rid of anything, it just disintegrates it. it yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on. God. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what else we can find. So there's where it went off. We got another piece up here. This small piece. I thought I saw one over here. Actually, there's a there's a chunky. <laughs> Just tears metal right apart, right? Eh? 10 bucks if you can. Oh, yeah. Give it 10 bucks if you can. This might just be off all the scrap cars down here. Blew up half the snowbank here. <laughs> Does it? it? It it works great to take down the weeds, too. <laughs> just leveled everything. Another big chunk here. That one didn't go anywhere. Muffler, some more chunks. I want to shove a bunch in the ground, see how big of a hole we can put in the ground. 
I think that's just off old cars. More car parts. All right, we are way back now. It was way over there. A lot of stuff flew back here. Just super sharp chunks of metal everywhere. I think that's a piece over there. A couple pieces over there. Jeez, we really, we really did the McKechnie's a favor here, eh? <laughs> yeah. Should be paying us. That car part. Oh, that's just a rock over there. All right, well, let's head back. That was beauty. All the windows are still intact. We're good to go, hopefully. Is that piece? Is that like a filter? Or... Oh, it's a motor. Freaking, it's heavy. Wow. Scott's way up there. He said he'd check the video. And it looked like the, uh, the door went up there. This side of the car jump, this is where all the cars end up at. And I, I've only found one piece. And this thing is sharp. You wouldn't want to uh, get in front of that. So, a couple more minutes, so we'll head out. Well, that's all we could find. The rest of it has disappeared. Oh, in that chunk over there. That's all you found. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave lots of comments. Let us know what we should blow up next and how much, uh, how many pounds we should use. And uh, if you have a location where we can do it, because apparently that was the one and done for here. So thank you guys again. Don't do anything I would do. Check out the links below. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.